What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Drew Lation back once again with some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. This time around, I'm playing Domination on Summit, one of my favorite maps on Black Ops. And my weapon of choice is the infield with extended mags and red dot. And I really like the infield on this map because you can use cover so you don't have to worry about the FAMAS. And it's really good at pinpoint accuracy. It's a very accurate assault rifle. And my perks, as you can see, are flat jacket, warlord, and hacker. And basically, I like to use cover in this map and get accurate shots before my enemy can uh, respond. And I use it throughout the game to get a pretty good uh, KD. And but this is basically uh, talk about Robert Brolin and his latest interview he had on Kotaku, where he talked about making um, the maps in Modern Warfare 3 less campy and the whole maps promoting running and gunning which is a very good idea in my opinion so he basically said like what he would try to reduce the amount of hot spots like where I'm right now where I just got killed right there that's a pretty good hot spot in this map and but Robert Bowen says he's gonna try to make maps in Modern Warfare 3 that reduce the number of um campy um hot spots where people could get um prevent people from playing the objective uh, I get completely owned right there that's 60 frames per second for you and so basically what this means is he's going to go um he looked at all the uh, information that he had from modern warfare 2 on where people were getting kills and where people were staying for most of the time and he realized that um the, the whole like team realized that um when you have maps with um multiple levels like multiple floors kind of like berlin wall where um people have um open views of the um area that people are going to start camping what a surprise, you know, I can't believe that they just now figured this out, you know, I, I wish they had told the people who made um, Berlin Wall this beforehand, you know, <laughs> even though that was Treyarch, but still, um, um, the people who made that map are also working on Modern Warfare 2, 3 as well, so that's kind of, I hope they've learned their lesson, and so basically they're going to try to reduce the number of hot spots so people could run and gun and play the objective more, um, I think that the map design is a very big problem in uh, Black Ops because not not in maps like this, but in other maps like um, Havana, for example, they're just it's so hard to play the objective because especially the B flag. If you're trying to hold that flag down, there are like six windows where people could just stay there and camp and get kills, easy kills. And I think that um, in Modern Warfare 2, you you had a lot of um, maps that had open windows but they didn't point to like the middle of the map where you could see everyone and shoot them down easily but in, the, in black ops the maps are uh, i totally get i get on right there Shit, i should have had that double but anyway in modern warfare 2 um the, the the map design was a lot less campier because the windows didn't lead out to the middle of the map and in Black Ops, a lot of people like to use ghosts and sit around and camp and go for their kill streaks. So even though kill streaks aren't stackable in Black Ops, it's easier to get kill streaks because um, the way the map design. In the Modern Warfare 2, the kill streaks were stackable, and so it was still easy to get your kill streaks, but um, you, you you couldn't camp as easily to get your kill streaks. You had to rely on your kill streaks stacking up, and. That's why, um, even though the kill streaks in Black Ops, in my opinion, aren't as powerful as in Modern Warfare 2, they're still as um, annoying because uh, um, you, it's a lot easier to camp for your kill streaks. Whereas in oh, AFK, that, that's an easy kill right there. But in um, Modern Warfare 2, it was a lot harder to camp, but your kill streaks were um, once you had your kill streaks, you could stack them up. So it was a. That's why the, I think the kill streaks are pretty much the same. In, in both games um, so um, I, I hope that they um, change it around to make it so that um, um, the maps are less campy and the kill streaks aren't easy to stack up because it, um, once the, once the enemy like once you're playing against a team that has a bunch of kill streaks I mean they just it just piles up and then it becomes a huge um, uh, spawn camp you know they just spawn camp you and, and stomp you in the ground so I really hope that they, Robert Bone also said that he was gonna try to come up with um, a lot less air support. You know, I kind of like the air support in this game, but I do think that um, 
they need to mix it up a little bit so that, to have um, kill streaks that counter those like the EMP was a pretty good kill streak but it was a, a little bit too high in Modern Warfare 2 probably bring it down a little bit so that um is it is that if the air support is getting a little bit out of control, you could use an EMP or something. You know, to balance the game out, because uh, I think that uh, the kill streaks people it gives people an incentive to camp instead of playing the objective. And uh, for me personally, I much rather play the objective and get a hard fought battle than uh, just camp in a corner and spawn trap somebody. That that doesn't really require any skill. That's just you uh, taking advantage of um, poor map design. And so Robert Bowling uh, is really saying the right things. Uh, the only thing that he can say now that make me happy if he says he's gonna put in dedicated servers. I have a whole video on, on dedicated servers. So if you guys don't know what that's really about, but yeah. So um, in my opinion, if you guys are trying to get ready for Modern Warfare 3, uh, I get stick. Oh, you bastard! Uh, if you're trying to get ready for Modern Warfare 3, I think that you guys should um, focus on the SMGs a little bit more. Because I think the SMGs are going to be very um, effective in Modern Warfare 3 because of the fact that it's going to be a lot more running and gunning instead of um, Black Ops where it's basically a lot more about getting to your, the hot spot and camping and choke, getting to choke points which really prevents um, the team from playing the objective. And, uh, but I hope they bring back Flak Jacket and I hope they bring something like a where I hope to get rid of the RCA car because that, that's just cheese right there and so guys let me know what you think I'm gonna post, post a link below with the Kotaku um, interview and you guys could if you really want to improve your game you really should uh, um, read it and learn how you're gonna use that, the, that map information to your advantage because if you're not really good at running and gunning it looks like it's gonna be uh, now's a good time to start you know preparing for that so let me know guys, what do you guys think? Do you prefer Modern Warfare 2 where um, it was a lot more running and gunning or Black Ops where you can uh, camp a lot more where you, you have um, sites where you can see the entire map? Let me know which one do you think is more fun to play. Um, and another issue that's been going on is that ModernWarfare3.com was um, taken down by um, Infinity Activision because um, the website led directly to um, Battlefield 3's <laughs> website, and apparently the person who owns the Modern Warfare 3.com um, domain name um, put a link to Battlefield Back Company 3, and now Infinity War has put a lawsuit on on the owner of the site because they felt that that was um, they were trying to they didn't have any rights to Modern Warfare 3, but I don't know if that's a legit. They, somehow they were able to take it down. Oh. Three for, see, um, right there, the infields are good if you're guarding over an area like that. Some might call that camping, but you know that's the way the map is designed. You, you, if you're gonna take advantage of it, you know. So here I, I have a care package fail, but whatever. Um, so um, like I was saying before, um, the guy basically um put a site to Modern Warfare Battlefield Bad Company Three. And Battlefield had nothing to do with this. It's just one guy out there who owns the domain name. And they asked him to take it down, so he, he put up another site that was basically bashing Modern Warfare 3. And I don't know. I, I think that the community is really... There's a larger, growing, more audible um, segment of the gaming community that is just angry at um, Call of Duty. Personally, I think that um, it's really not uncomfortable. If you don't like the game, don't buy it. But um, they feel that the game is overrated. Um, I think that the game needs dedicated servers very badly in order to compete uh, with the current genre of games that are coming out. Um, Uncharted 3 is coming out. Resistance 3 is coming out. Gears of War 3 is coming out. It's going to be a very competitive um, um, winter coming up. So um, if, if, Uncharted, if Uncharted 3... Which is, which I played the beta and it's pretty good, and um, the Battlefield 3 beta is coming up as well. I'm gonna be posting videos. I rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I think I go uh, 33 and uh, 12 in this game. All right, peace out, YouTube.